morning. Will everyone please sit? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to one of my favorite traditions at Hofstra University, which is the, the annual softball commencement for some terrific soon-to-be graduates. And to begin our program, the person who never needs an introduction on our campus, the one person who doesn't need an introduction, the president of Hofstra University, President Stuart Urbanoid. How do you know I don't want an introduction? Maybe I'm a very long... No, just kidding. But I, too, along with the provost, uh, want to add my welcome to the special commencement ceremonies for the graduating seniors on our incredible softball team. Actually, truthfully, we make the NCAA in softball so often that I pencil this in in September on my calendar. I know we're going to have some seniors who will be playing in the tournament. And uh, so it's, it's there for next year. We call it the softball commencement. Uh, next year, hopefully, the NCAA committee won't, you know, throw us under the bus by making us play uh, in Florida, the number one team in the nation. But, you know, these things happen, unfortunately. But uh, I just want to say something about the softball team. Because over your four years here, um, the team has filled us with pride. You've inspired the campus community, you've energized us, and your talent and your fortitude and your sportsmanship is just tremendous, tremendously important to us. And I think what I admire most about our softball team, our softball program, was actually summarized by your coach when we last uh, lost that last heartbreaking game, uh, who said, you know, our players expect to win the national championship. And I don't think there are a lot of teams at Oscar that you could say that about, but it's a true statement. And I won't be surprised when the day comes when the softball team will win a national championship. As to each of you, you really have epitomized what it means to be a Oscar athlete. You've excelled on and off the field and in the classroom. And that's what Hofstra student athletes do. And we congratulate you for that. And we are grateful for that. And we thank you. So that's why we're having this ceremony. Because um, it's abbreviated, but we owe you a graduation ceremony. Um, it actually might be a good thing it's abbreviated. Um, because, you know, if there was a, a list of the top ten most forgettable utterances, commencement speeches would be number one. <laughs> no, the chances, you know, really, I mean, the, the chances are completely overwhelming. You will not remember a thing I say to you. Usually you can't even remember who says it, but since I'm the only speaker, I hope you remember that I said it. But it's this, I don't have a long speech for you, and I don't have great advice for you. I just want to say that this really is a celebration, and, and it's a celebration of your academic accomplishments. And it's also a celebration and a recognition of the sacrifices and support that have been made by your family and your friends to let you be here today. And so my mo only message to you really is that you have earned our congratulations and our admiration. You have worked hard, you have learned well, and you clearly are ready to make your mark on the world. So we take Hofstra pride in your accomplishments, and we surely hope that you do the same. We are confident that you have the skills and insights to take on anything, to, to adapt to the new challenges and new circumstances which you surely will face. The only constant is change. But you have the tools to take those risks and seize the opportunities that come along to you. So we are so confident in your success. And I, I'll close these brief remarks by, as I have uh, the past 14 years uh, as president of this university, by just by wishing each of you well. I wish each of you all the success you think you need in life and all that your work and ability earn for you. Importantly, I wish you the perspective to forgive yourself and learn from mistakes because mistakes are inevitable for human beings. I wish you the tenacity 
and the courage and frankly the very good luck to someday find your life's work, something that you feel passionate about and not just settle for one which neither challenges nor fulfills you. Now it doesn't need to be your first job or your second, but if you have the opportunity, try to keep looking for that job that fulfills you. I wish you the very special sense of self-worth and satisfaction that in my years comes only from giving some of your talent and some of your help to those who are in need. And lastly, I wish you the wisdom not to forgo the love of your family, the love of your friends, in some mindless pursuit of professional success. So the softball player commencement class of 2015, you leave here with our admiration and our affection. We enjoyed watching you play, we enjoyed teaching you, and we enjoyed learning from you. We hope that you will maintain your ties to your classmates and to your alma mater and to your athletic program. You will always be, and, and I want to reemphasize this to you, you will always be an important member of the Hofstra University community. And any time you want, you will always be welcome back to Hofstra University as your home. On behalf of the faculty and the administration and the staff of the university, I extend to each of you our heartiest wishes for success and happiness and our congratulations. Congratulations. Taylor Perone, uh, Morgan Lashley, Aaron Tripp, and Daniel Bitts. Please stand. Okay. Honor to present these four outstanding students together with their respective dean and faculty. I recommend that you confer the baccalaureate degree upon these candidates. By virtue of the authority vested, I, I say this in my sleep now. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Hofstra University and the Regents of the State of New York, and upon the recommendation of the provost, your deans and the faculty, I am delighted to confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Admin. Uh, business Administration or Bachelor of Arts as appropriate. Congratulations. Now if you will come. Oh, we think we graduated. <laughs> Look like, what do you mean? You're a grad. You're a grad. How about one more step? Move your tassels from right to left. That makes it good.
here, somebody wants to speak. All four. All four of them. Is that true? Yes. Hey, the whole thing took four minutes. So I finally got everyone here. All eyes are on me. This is all I've ever wanted. Wow, this is great. We got Zach Lane in the house. You're the best, Zach. Who else is back there? We got sugar cookies, ladies and gentlemen. Get at the sugar cookies. Dino! Where you at? There's Dino! What's up? Jay? Oh, this is great. Column. Thank you all for coming. You have no idea how much this means to all of us. And Hofstra University has been my home for the past four years. It's been amazing. I can't picture myself at any other university. Truly honored to graduate from here. So, ooh. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> Perhaps, I don't know. We'll, we'll think about it. Okay. You have any things here, instant advisement? Yeah, right? Can I get a letter? Recommendation, <laughs> maybe? Perhaps? Okay, we're done. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming, and please join us for the reception. Thank you very much. Jeff can certainly, Jeff is never at a loss for words. have been revoked. <laughs> oh my god. A nightmare. <laughs> we, uh, we've just done a quick review of the transcripts and uh, you all will be back for another semester. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm up here when you all wouldn't speak, but uh, I think everybody knows, or a lot of people know, uh, we're all very, very proud of this softball program, and I certainly want to thank Larissa and our coaching staff for the great year that they've done in their first year together and Larissa's first year as the coach. So thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We wouldn't have uh, the opportunity to have these four outstanding women to be here if it were not for their parents and their families who's with us. Please stand up. Just like their kids. <laughs> Sal, we're still looking for your transcript. Can you, can, you, can you tell it's a fun bunch? And I think more than anything, I, I think you can feel that it's really a family. It's a happy family. Not happy every day. Every family has tension. Uh, but overall, this is an extraordinarily happy family. And for me, it's uh, a special day. These four student-athletes exemplify and epitomize all that we look for in a Hofstra student-athlete as a person, first and foremost, as a student, which they all excelled in the classroom, as an athlete, which one or two of them was good. <laughs> Figure it out, Taylor. Are you one of the two or what? <laughs> They're all outstanding athletes. We've watched them all play, and they've all been major contributors to our softball program. And they've all given back to the community. They all realize that they're blessed to be a student and a student athlete at Hofstra University. They all realize that they're the benefit of uh, financial aid, good coaching, most importantly, good educational opportunities. And so they've gone out in the community, and they've helped a wide range of people that are less fortunate than them. Uh, from me to the four of you, I say congratulations. I'm thrilled thrilled for each one of you. You've touched me and everybody in this room in a way that we hope that we have touched you as much. Godspeed, good luck, you're welcome back anytime. Most of you. <laughs> Hire me. <laughs> Taylor Perone. <laughs> Taylor Perone is almost a graduate. 
uh, almost a graduate, did okay in school, uh, but she's looking for a job. Anybody. You know, baking the sugar cookies or whatever it is. What do you want to do? Shining shoes. That's okay. Anyway, anyway, we've taken everybody's time. I do want to say this. I've been uh, honored to be at four great universities. And uh, when I came here my first year, I think one of the things that touched me most as to being part of the Hofstra community is that when we did this special softball commencement, which has become an annual event, that all the deans come out for this. I mean, these people are all running their own academic areas and have much, much on their plate. And at the drop of the hat, they are all here for our four student athletes. So I think they deserve a round of applause. All right, well, am I done? Can I sit down now? All right, your four great ones, congratulations and thank you all. Okay. Since this has turned into a family event, the way we end family events in my religion is let's stop talking and go eat.